Hey guys, welcome back to Word in the Shop. It is November 8th, 2013. Uh, sorry I'm a little late uploading this, but I have things to do other than model railroading stuff, unfortunately. So, Alright, let's just breeze through this. Uh, locomotive number 32 is the same as it was before, uh, pretty much. I did some decal work on the tender, not lettering or anything, but uh, did the uh, rivets that go on the rear side. Uh, it's looking a little bit more realistic now. Let's take a look at that. Get a grip on the camera. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in this light. Let's zoom in. Yeah, you can kind of you can kind of see them. Anyway, it's looking pretty good. Um, and once all the rivets are done, uh, then I'm going to go and repaint over them uh, a nice coat of black and I really shouldn't have put the lettering on before I did that because uh, it'll make it a little bit harder it's not like you can't mask the lettering but you never know how it's gonna turn out so anyway so I started on that and we'll see where that goes uh, but other than that the 32 hasn't really been changed at all uh, go figure right uh, oh, yeah, that's something new, isn't it? Uh, my model of Sierra Railway Combine number 5 is coming along very nicely. Uh, it's mostly done. I'd, if I give it a percentage rating, I'd say about 75%, somewhere around there. I finally finished the roof so I could get around to painting it. Uh... <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, there's really not a whole lot I can say. The car speaks for itself. Uh, you can see the truss rods are in there. I've got to do the uh, little toolbox that goes under the car and the brake rigging and all that stuff. Other than that, the car is looking beautiful. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to lettering it. And it's going to have gold lettering, which will make the car stand out even more. Yeah, other things I need to do, as you can see, I need to put the doors in and the windows, air hoses, and other minor details, and I need to seal up the clear story. Uh, it, uh, it's ready to go. It uh, has a lot of drag on it comparatively to my other cars, but uh, I'll fix that, and it's good to go. Other than that, okay, uh, standard module. Here you can see. Uh, I think the scenery is about where I left off last time. Uh, main hold back. The main thing holding me back here is getting some foam blocks to support the uh, paper bag scenery base and whatnot. Uh, which I went to standard a couple weeks ago, somewhere around that, and uh, I took pictures of the rest of the scenery I need to do. So getting it the right contour of the actual hillside would be a lot easier. Uh, so I have everything I need now except for the foam blocks and the scenery base, you know. So I have to do that and then the scenery on standard will be about 50% finished because the rest of it is basically flatlands uh, and track. I still have a little bit of track length to do for the uh, speeder shed and whatnot that was there. Uh, other than that it's pretty good. So, yep, uh, let's come over here to Atlas Junction Module. Uh, again, nothing really done here. I've added a few more ties. You can see, uh, you know, the completion of the ties goes all the way up from the switch to here. God, that took me a long time. And it's going to take me a little more time to finish it. I stopped doing it a couple weeks ago because of the, uh, you know, the Atlas trestle, uh, you know, the Atlas Highway 108 branch line trestle uh, that I've been working on basically full time the last couple weeks. Uh, but once that work starts to wind down, then I will go back to making ties for the rest of my tracks. Hopefully get a whole lot done on standard and Atlas Junction. And there's number three. I'm not going to talk about the three because there's really nothing new. 
Uh, haven't done any work on the three in quite a while. Not any kind of work, except dusting it off because the thing sits constantly now. Uh, not a whole lot of time to operate trains. And not really a whole lot of places I can operate them nowadays. So let's take a look at the big project. The Atlas Branch Line or Orange Blossom Branch Line Highway 108 Trestle. Alright. You can see that I've been working on ties for the trestle instead of on my mainline tracks. Uh, the actual supporting structure is about done. All the rails are in place. I'm just sliding ties on underneath them. And once all the ties are in place, I've got a few more, you know, braces that I need to do. I need to add, but other than that, it will be completely done in about two weeks' time, hopefully. I'll give it a final coat of weathering and paint and whatnot. And it will go in place on the module that I will build for it, hopefully this Sunday. Uh, and then we'll see how what we'll see what happens from there. But uh, yeah, it's looking good. And I'll have some more pictures of it uploaded to the Facebook page later on. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. There's nothing else that I can really talk about. I can talk about how I've been making the ties. Uh, thank God I've had uh, the opportunity to use a special stain that I've used in building most of the bridge to make my ties instead of painting them one by one because that would take forever. Uh, if I had hand painted them all, in the last couple days, I've been able to make this much with the stain. If I was hand painting them, I'd only have up to here from the end to about there. And that's not very many. So the stain makes things a lot quicker. Again, this is how much I've completed in the last couple days with only a couple hours worth of work. Uh, I suppose it's not that bad. It's still going to take me a little while to finish it. The bridge is about 238 feet long. and uh, let's see, I've gotten about a hundred feet of it finished uh, for ties. Let's take a, a look going down the length of the span. And that's where the highway goes under the bridge. It's very narrow because, you know, very small motor, uh, automobiles running on those highways compared to today. So... So yeah, it's coming along, and I'm very proud of this project. came a long way from when I first started. God, it took me forever, but uh, it came out great. It's coming along great, and I can't wait to see Sierra number 32 and Sierra number 3 running on it soon. Uh, well, uh, that's about it. I'll uh, give you one last look at this car, because I know a lot of you are going to keep asking me for photos to post photos of it or something like that uh, so yeah we'll exit with a shot of this car and I will see you guys next month